guys welcome back to my channel in today's DIY I'm gonna be showing you guys how I turn trash into treasure um, it was a DIY success at first but then I messed it up by putting polyurethane on it and it totally ruined the whole project so then it was a fail and now I turned it back into a success so I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process of when you have a DIY that goes wrong what you can do to fix it um, you may just have to repaint it, you may have to resand it, whatever the case may be. Don't just see it as a DIY fail. Um, try to make it something better than what it was even before. Um, now the story behind this table is I was driving, um, I don't even know where I was going, but I was driving and I saw uh, this table outside of somebody's house. They, it was next to the garbage can and they were giving it away. I, it was like the day before trash day, so I was like, oh. That might be cool in my craft room because the desk that I had originally was too small and I was starting to do like more and more projects and I just did not have enough surface space. So I called my mom and she was at home so I was like oh and she doesn't live too far from me or where I was. So I picked her up and she came back um, to help me put the table in my car. Um, we couldn't put it in my car because um, I didn't have my tools with me to take the legs off the table and the legs were so high that it wouldn't like uh, reach, I mean, fit in my car. So then I had to call my husband and he was asleep. So then he came to help me, um, help us put it in the car. And I'll show you guys pictures right after this of how we did that. Um, I love turning anything trash into treasure because I feel like it can, like old wood, old stuff you can't get anymore. And all this new stuff I'm not like a fan of because it's like cheap and you know, it's that, uh, fake wood and I just don't like it so anytime I can find something original that's why I always go to Goodwill and Salvation Army because people are always giving away like old stuff that they could possibly repurpose and they just don't have the skill to do it or they don't have the time to do it or they just don't want to do it um, they just rather get rid of it so I'll gladly take it um, so I, I, I really love this table. It, it serves the purpose because it's really, really wide. Um, I can get a lot of projects done on this table. Um, it looks really nice in my craft room and I can actually do another video if you guys are interested in like a craft room tour of what my craft room actually looks like um, and how I like do things. I do want to ask you guys a question of um, what videos would you like to see next? Um, I think the next video will be like a kitchen series. My husband and I We'll be redoing our kitchen, um, and we'll kind of keep you guys updated on that. We're going to be redoing the cabinets, um, and also I want to redo the floor, but that's going to be like a lady down the line. I'm not ready for that just quite yet. And then we are also going to be doing, um, I'm thinking about doing a wedding series, um, because I DIY my entire wedding, and I can kind of show you guys some of the projects that I've done. Um, that I thought were pretty cool um, so let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see next um, we're also planning to do some more build videos um, soon our schedules just haven't allowed it um, but we do plan to do some more build videos because those are my favorite videos I love building um, so stay tuned and we'll get into that so um, let's get into how I turned this trash into treasure and turned it from a DIY success, failed, then turned success again. Stay tuned. Here you will see my husband and my mother trying to help me put the table into my car. I found it on the side of the road um, and it was free, so I took it. Um, here are the legs. Um, I cleaned them and took them off of the table. Here's just a closer look at the legs. Here you have the table. I cleaned it really, really well. It was so dirty as you can see. Um, the table actually um, fits, I guess, like the leaf part in there. But um, when it was on the side of the road, um, that wasn't included, which is fine because I don't need it to be that big. Okay, and here are the legs after I spray painted them gold. Here is the table right now. I am just cleaning it. Um, as you can see, uh, this was where my DIY fail came into place. I painted the table a really nice white color. Um, a couple days later, I came back and I used polyurethane, which was the worst mistake ever because you cannot use polyurethane on light colored paint, which I had to learn the hard way. Um, so learn from me. Don't do it. 
Um, so as you can see, my table looks yellow. It looks really, really nasty. Um, so right now I'm going back over um, the table with a high gloss white paint. And it's just called High Gloss White by Bear. And I got that from um, Home Depot. So right now I'm just going over it with um, smooth, even coats. I'm trying to make sure I have coverage for everything. And as you guys can see the difference between um, the side that I'm actually painting and then the side that um, has the polyurethane that kind of ruined the whole paint job. Um, I could have sanded this, but I chose not to because the polyurethane wasn't like caked up on it. It was still smooth enough so that I could um, go over it. Um, so as you guys can see, um, it, it, it's a total difference between the um, damaged pieces and then the newly painted pieces. So paint can do uh, wonders for you. It really, really can. Okay, so here you will see me kind of going around touching up um, the spaces that got me kind of nicked um, or rubbed against. I'm not sure how I even did that, but um, here you'll just kind of see me going with, um, I believe this is a one inch brush. I'm just going around making sure that I get all, um, everything, like every inch of the um, table, everything that um, looked damaged or had polyurethane still on it, I just kind of went over it again. Okay, so here is the table after, I believe this is two coats that I did at this point. Um, no, this is the second coat now, I'm sorry. So this is the second coat um, that I'm going over um, just to make sure that I have everything covered. I don't have any more yellow spots on this table. Okay, and now I am showing you guys kind of the legs on the table. Like I told you, they're gold. And this is the um, under the table, which is what I was just showing you. And I'll show you kind of how my husband... Um, cut up an old desk and made um, this into some drawer space because of course this is a dining room table so of course it does not have storage and since this is in my craft room I need all the storage I can get and I'm just kind of showing you guys what's in each drawer um, and I have six of these drawers um, so this is my old desk um, I actually got this from Salvation Army it was a solid piece of wood love the desk um, but it was no longer serving a purpose for me so my husband cut it in half for me and then he also cut off the top part for me um, so that it would fit under the table. We measured it so that it would fit under the table and it did. And he cut it off and he put, we put each one under, um, each part under my new table. And um, I absolutely love it because I have storage and I have the space that I need on top of the table.